to this week's video. Good morning. My name is Kate, and I bet you're wondering why this video opened up with me waking up out of my bed. Well, the answer for that is we get comments asking us, where's Kate in the videos? Why isn't she in the videos so often? And I really, I just don't have an answer. I just never happen to be in front of the camera. I'm always, doing something behind the camera like when we catch a fish I'm always trying to help with sales or do something like that but I'm always in the moment with everybody so the camera just doesn't happen to be right on me this is gonna be what my life is like as a 16 year old girl living on a sailboat with her family usually the first thing I do when I wake up is school because I like to get it out of the way I actually graduate high school in like six weeks, so yeah. And if I wanted to go to college, I most definitely couldn't pass an SAT test. But if I wanted to, I could study and I would pass, so yeah. Kate and her siblings have been homeschooled all their lives, but our homeschool is always focused on relationships, personal finance, and finding and pursuing their passions, as opposed to ingesting them with a bunch of academics. So if one of our children desires higher education, which the three on the boat do not, they would have to take additional courses and figure out what it takes to get into the colleges they want. All right, finished school. The ladies are gonna stretch and I would also like to join them because I do that like every morning. So come stretch with me, Glory and Jaden. It's breakfast time. Stretching is finished and I'm hungry. So, I think I'm just gonna go with classic eggs and toast. This is how I make my breakfast. Now I'm gonna, gonna cream my bagel. Yeah, I know I said I was eating toast, but bagels are where it's at. I like bagels. Why have toast when you can have a bagel? Exactly. Salt for the eggs. Nice. Let's go eat it. Breakfast time. It's really odd. I'm I'm the non-YouTuber in the family, and this is really weird. Filming every single thing I do. I'm not gonna be editing it. Mom, my mom's gonna be editing it, but it's so much more difficult filming every single thing. And I just decided to say that because kudos to. Glory and mom and everybody else who <laughs> does all the filming in here. It does take four times as long. It to do really anything. does. It takes so long. It's but yeah, true. doing it for you guys. You don't want the berries or you do? No, I do. Here, I want the berries. Good morning, Jaden. Good morning. <laughs> How are you today? I'm great. How are you? I am great as well. <laughs> we did our yoga. Oh, yeah. And now it's time to eat. So on the boat we all have chores, and my chore is doing the dishes. I am the dishwasher of the boat. Well, we do have a dishwasher, but I also put away, clean, and do all the dishes on the boat. Ready to start your Blue Water Cruising adventure? We're hosting a free workshop this Saturday, November 11th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll give you the exact steps to make that dream voyage a reality. By the end, you'll have a game plan to start the adventure of a lifetime. Hop on board by clicking the link in the description or go to bluewatercruisingplan.com.
wind's picking up, I'm gonna go string a bar for some kiting. Let's go! Yo. Hope it doesn't... set up I'm gonna go kiting the wind is 22 23 24 knots still so it's gonna be a good session all right see you guys out there Just got back from kiting. I did a bunch of tricks and failed on many of them, as you can see. But yeah, I did like front rolls and one foots, and that's about it because that's all I can do. So, how long have you been kiting? I've been kiting for like it, it's complicated. I kited a lot a couple years ago, then we kind of took a break, and now I'm kiting again. There was no kiting in Australia when we were there. There was like very little, so I just didn't kite there. And in the Red Sea, there was like not no. a. Oh, there was, there was. There was a little bit in a lot, but that's about it. Okay, bro. I'm ready to go. Yeah. You're not wearing a wetsuit, are you? It's like warm water. They all wear wetsuits, and I'm... Look at me. I'm in a... They're wearing wetsuits. They're this wusses. Right They're wusses. You can't use you this can't music. can't use this music. Turn it off. Got done kiting and I want a sandwich and I'm gonna make a PB and J. So I eat these a lot. They're very good. I suppose I should talk about something while I'm making this because I see that in everybody else's videos. What is my situation like with friends on a sailboats? But for me, I guess. I have some friends. I don't have any super close friends, like best friends, you'd say. Uh, I have Glory and Jaden, and they've been on the boat for a while, so that's fun. We get friends every now and then, like, sometimes there'll be, sometimes there'll be some, you know, kids on a boat, teenagers on a boat, but after a while we leave them because they're going one way, we're going the other way, and it's just kind of how it works. I had friends, I had a friend in the United States for a long time, since I was like a baby until I was like nine, and we got on the boat and me and her grew apart, which is fine, but that's just an example of how your lives go separate ways. I wasn't trying to build a relationship because we became so different on the boat and I wasn't trying to put effort into something that was gonna end, really, because it would be so difficult. We were too different by that time. Managing friends on a boat is usually long distancing. You talk online. I talk to a lot of people online. and Or not a lot of people, that's an exaggeration. I have a few people I talk to online Am I excited to get back to the States and have more friends? Not particularly. I mean, friends aren't my, like, I don't chase after them. I'm not looking for friends at every place we go. Like, if there's people there, that's amazing. But if there's not, then it is what it is. But yeah, friends on a boat is definitely hard. And you don't get many of them. So when you do get them, you learn to socialize fast. And that's why boat kids are so good at socializing. PB and J. Let's get it going. Kate's passion and talent is definitely art. She can spend hours and hours every day just drawing. Right now, she's working on a really cute shark, which brings us to today's sponsor, Surfshark the virtual private network that enables her to access websites and streaming services that are geo-restricted and allows her to connect with fellow artists from around the world. Since we travel for a living, we keep Surfshark turned on on our main Wi-Fi router on our boat, so we never have to worry about internet restrictions on any of our devices. 
And when we go out, as you know, the first thing we do when logging on to someone else's Wi-Fi is to turn on our VPN. Because in this digital age, our online identity is more valuable than ever, and we don't want hackers getting into our stuff. Sign up today using our link, surfshark.deals forward slash Satara. And with Surfshark's exclusive Black Friday deal, you can get up to six months free. It's as low as $2 a month and probably one of the most important subscriptions you'll have. With Christmas coming up, turn on your Surfshark VPN and get the best deals when shopping online. And if you want to see more of Kate's artwork, go follow her art account on Instagram at anemone3. But if you can't remember that, just find her main account at Kate Zatara and she has a link there. I've never drawn sharks before, but it's a surf shark. It's a surf shark. Go get surf shark right now. <laughs> remember, surfshark.deals forward slash Zatara. The link is also in the description. Me and me and Dad just got back from uh, teaching Jaden how to kiteboard, and Jaden was doing good. Now we're gonna go see what she has to say. Jaden, yeah. How was your kiteboarding session? It was good. Yeah. Give we're getting better every session. Give us the details. I got I carved up wind a little bit. I got went I went <laughs> I went both ways. Yeah. And I screamed a lot. Yeah, she screamed. And got That's mad. Good. High five. Thanks for uh, supporting. All right, I gotta go wrap a bar with. Uh, Help me wrap up the kite. Let's go wrap up the kite. There you go. Roll it all the way over, and then and then I'll walk up here. I'll just you guys can get the pass though. No, okay. What side of thing you long? I gotta tell Jack and Finn the guy needs to rescue. Okay. Hello. All right, we're going to a grocery store, we think. Or we might grab a cab and go in town or might walk in town. We don't really know yet. We're just getting off of the boat and yeah. Let's go! Let's go! Vlog number one, vlog number two, and vlog number three. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi. And now we're off. We're off to the magical land. I don't know what land people magical do. Magical land of the dumpster. Oh, mm. This is what I needed all along. I needed my pocket coffee. Me, Jaden, and Finn have separated from Mom and Glory, and we're gonna go walk around and see what we can find. Yes, yes. sir. Oh. Oh my gosh. Just got some dust in my face, but that's okay. That was a really lame cafe. My croissant was actually banger, but their stuff was uh, mid. Get on there. We get really excited about parks because, because well, they're exciting. It's the most exciting part of the day. Hey guys, just a quick note. Um, I just wanted to answer a few questions that I anticipate you guys having about our homeschool. Um, we are residents of the state of Texas, which has very low regulation, very minimal academic requirements for the students in a private school. A homeschool is considered a private school in Texas. So we can basically do um, almost whatever we want. The parent has complete authority over the academics of the students. So basically I'm in charge. I say what we do, when we do it, and how long we do it for. Yes, my kids will get a diploma and a transcript. We make great ones in Excel, and I'm not kidding, we actually do that. And I mean, whoever asks to see your high school diploma. But as far as the transcript goes, like Kate said in the video, if they want to go to college, they're going to have to have some more courses on that transcript that we didn't offer in our homeschool. So just like Anna did, Anna's our uh, now 22 year old daughter. She just started her senior year in college in Texas. She knew she wanted to go to college when she was about 16 years old, 15, 16. So she figured out what courses were needed in the colleges she wanted to apply to. 
we bought the courses, bought the textbooks, whatever it was, and she completed those on her own. So her transcript had everything that she needed. For instance, two years of a foreign language, uh, British literature, American literature, other stuff that we just didn't feel was necessary for all of our kids to learn unless they want to go to college. Our homeschool is focused on, like I said in the video, um, personal finance, relationships, entrepreneurship, marketing, networking. Our boys are already very successful with their YouTube channels and marketing themselves on social media. Kate is, uh, she loves art. She's doing logos for some people. She understands the business side of everything because of her brothers and, and us and our channel. And, and Keith has, has been a businessman all his life. He's owned companies. So once she graduates, she's not really sure what she's gonna do. She's gonna be on the boat for the next year or two because she is not 18 and we're not gonna let her go yet. But anyway, Thanks for watching the show. It's not over. Let's get back to Kate as she finishes up her day in the life. All right, it is the end of the day. I am very tired and I'm going to do the dishes. Okay, it's the end of the day. I am so tired. We, I went kiting, swimming, I helped Glory and Jaden with the kites. It was really just a great day. I drew a lot. There uh, was a clip of me drawing, but I did a lot more behind camera. I'm currently working on Finn's new logo for his business, his YouTube channel. Sometimes there's so much more in my day, like we'll go kiting, swimming, kiting again, swimming again. We're gonna sleep on the beach. We're gonna have a fire. We're gonna swim at nighttime at the beach. We're gonna jump off a cliff the next day and we're gonna be exhausted, but then we're gonna go camp on the beach again. So much stuff some days. And then some days it's like really, really chill. I really hope you guys enjoyed my day in the life. I'm not editing any of this. I'm simply just filming it. So yeah, I hope my filming job was at least a little okay because I'm not a filmer so this is gonna be maybe not as good as my mom's would because she's really good at filming I love my mom I love her so much she's great at filming and editing she's just a pro professional completely I love her so much anyways I think that's gonna wrap up this video and I hope you guys enjoyed but yeah let's go